my name is Jeremy Walton, and this... You read the title. Let's go! <sighs> Pumpkin spice cold brew? Ridiculous. How's everyone doing? I'm fine, thank you. I'm a little tired, but as you can see, I've been traveling a lot. It's rough sometimes, but I do have a lot of fun. And it's nice to get out because sitting in a room editing all day can make you go a little crazy. Like, legit crazy. <sighs> I'm good. So make sure you get out of the house for a while and get moving. Okay, let's start talking about Neat Video version five. I've been using Neat Video for a while now, and it's a great and simple solution to clean up noise in your video. There are videos online you can watch, but I wanted to go over how Neat Video fits into my workflow, and more importantly, my approach to using noise reduction software to see if it's right for you. A few changes to version five are speed improvements, flicker reduction, improved noise reduction, more user-friendly, just to name a few. Additionally, if you've been watching my channel, you know I recently did a video on the newly released Film Convert Nitrate, and I went into detail about my workflow. So I recommend watching that first, then watch how neat video fits into all of this. In order to do that, I headed out to shoot some night footage, since this software is mostly used in low light situations. I could have just walked outside, but figured I might as well shoot something worth looking at. I took a short drive into the hills to get a great view. Well, actually, the place I wanted to go was closed, so yeah. Here's the raw footage that I shot with my GH5 using the Voigtlander Nocton 17.5 wide open. My ISO was set at 400 and I used V-Log. This was definitely underexposed, but a situation you might find yourself in. What we're gonna do is apply neat video, have a look at the results, and then we'll add film convert to spice things up a bit. Like my pumpkin spice cold brew, not sponsored. To get started, let's jump into Premiere Pro. Once again, here's the raw footage. And I'm going to add an adjustment layer. Then just like my previous video, I'll add Film Convert and Nitrate. Here's where I'll select my camera profile and do all my adjustments, which again is what I covered in the other video. Seriously, go check it out. All right, we're good to go, but let me go to grain. Right now I have this all turned off. When using Neat Video, this is all set to zero until the end, and you'll see why in a minute. Now it's time to apply Neat Video version five. Just like Film Convert, we'll go into effects, type in Neat Video, then drag and drop on your clip. You still with me? Yeah, you got this. Okay, right here we can see Neat Video has been applied, but we got a few more steps to go. This is gonna be a simple, straightforward breakdown for two reasons. One, I don't wanna overcomplicate the process for someone looking to purchase Neat Video. I wanna show you what you can accomplish in just a few simple steps. And two, I'll get into that in a minute, but let's continue. The first step in the process is to select Prepare. And right below that, you'll wanna select Build. This will bring up Neat Video. There's gonna be a lot of options that you can mess with. Maybe I'll do another more in-depth video, but again, let's stick to the basics. All you need to do is click Auto Profile. This will be the noise profile Neat Video has created for you. You can create your own by clicking on the screen, but I always get good results using Auto Profile. Now, even though this clip is underexposed, it's a good candidate for Neat Video because the noise is present, fairly uniform, and there's not a lot of details in the noise. You gotta remember that when shooting because you start adding buildings, fences, street signs, and especially people into the frame, it becomes much harder to develop a noise profile. Once you've built the noise profile, just click profile check and you should see a clean image. It might be hard to tell watching this on YouTube, so to maybe give you a better look, go to adjust and preview at the top. You can now draw a square and really see a side-by-side -side comparison. Just move the square around and have a look. Once you do this for yourself on your own footage, you really understand the power of this software. The last thing to do is hit apply. And there you go. A much cleaner image and didn't take very long to accomplish. If you can see this, that's a big difference. We just have one more step and that's adjusting the film convert grain, which I mentioned earlier. I did make a couple small adjustments by raising the grain in the shadows and mids, a new feature for nitrate, but that was minor. I set the size to four and the strength to 25. So there's two reasons I add grain. One is because it'll help you with banding issues you might encounter, and because I feel like noise reduction software can sometimes make the image look too clean. By adding grain, it gives me back the control to adjust the image how I want it to look. In both cases, I recommend having a slight touch. 
being heavy handed with this will usually end with bad results. But don't take my word for it. That's why I'm always telling you to get out there and do the work yourself. That's the real test. The last thing I wanna talk about is noise reduction software in general. As you can see from this clip, I took a simple approach to clean the image up for a YouTube video that will most likely be viewed on a cell phone. That's the workflow I've established and works great. If you're shooting something with a higher level of importance, like a feature or client work, then you might wanna take a different approach. The best advice I can give is never solely rely on noise reduction software. For this night scene, I would definitely use my GH5S, which has a dual native ISO. Or maybe I would rent a completely different camera. If people were involved, I would bring lights. Being well prepared will always give you better results. And with better results, you can apply specific software to make those fine adjustments. Basically, set yourself up for success instead of using noise reduction software to figure a way out of a disaster. Well, there you have it, reducing noise with Neat Video version five. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button because there's definitely more in the way. Subscribe so you don't miss out. But until then, comment below and let me know your approach to reducing noise. And as for this episode, it's a wrap.